Hi, I'm Rene from ZSK in Germany. And I'm Andrea from ZSK Machines in the United States. Today we'd like to show you the new Sprint 6 by ZSK. The Sprint 6 is the newest single head machine from the ZSK embroidery line. And about the Sprint 6 is that, first of all, it is made in Germany. This is a 12 color, 12 needle machine that can embroider on finished goods as well as caps and also some very unique items, you know, items that are four millimeters thick, belts, and despite its small size, it's really a powerhouse. And one thing about that is that behind these covers, as soon as you take off these covers, you can actually see the quality and craftsmanship of this machine. You have all metal parts right within here, which helps the longevity of the machine. Um, these machines are built to run 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So these machines are built to last. It is an extraordinary machine that really uh, a small shop or a large shop can fit into. Another new and exciting feature about the Sprint 6 is the technology actually underneath here. Renee is going to take the hoop off for us so we can actually see the newest and smallest arm in the industry. What does this mean for you? Well, this means you can get smaller items onto your embroidery machine. You can get inside pockets, shoes, uh, baby onesies, anything that has been really hard in the past because the arm was too big, it, it's now eliminated. This is the smallest arm in any embroidery machine out there. Second thing is that the picker. We now have no picker in the front. And again, what does that mean for us? That means, one, we have a deeper field that we can embroider in, and two, this really helps eliminate any sort of problems that we may have with the picker gathering the fabric or ruining any sort of garment. Uh, this is really, really helpful. One more thing about this arm is that it has been extended, so we can get deeper for like shirt sleeves, uh, pant legs and things like that. Again, this is one of the most exciting things uh, for us here at ZSK and we are happy to share it with the new Sprint 6. The next thing I'd like to show you is the presser feet. The presser feet of the ZSK, there's some really nice features with this and Renee, if you don't mind, please go ahead and change that to needle 12 so we can really access the presser foot height adjustment. So looking into the presser feet, first of all, I'd like to point out that we do have an open back presser foot. It is, uh, it's really nice to have this open back presser foot because one, it does allow us to get closer to the hoop and two, it's a bit stronger of a presser foot design. Second of all, the biggest part that I really love about this machine is the ability to change the height of the presser foot. We can just access the height of the presser foot right here on the side of the machine. And as we move the knob forward, we can see that we're making that presser foot higher. Or if we go back, we're making it lower. Now, what does this help us with? First of all, anytime that you have a thick garment, you most likely want to make it higher so that you're not making marks on your material. And so you're not pounding into that fabric. It can really help with the stitch quality, and it is quite a nice feature on the ZSK machine. Okay, so after seeing the presser feet, uh, the next thing I'd like to move on to is the thread rack. The thread rack is built with the head, and the advantage of this is that when we do move needles and the head changes, you'll see that there will be no slack in the thread, which gives you constant tension as well as prevents thread pullouts, meaning that your thread is not going to pull out from the needle as you change needle or colors. And Renee, if you'd be so kind to go ahead and switch it back to six, and you can watch the head move and the thread moves along with it, which is a huge advantage, especially in production. In addition to all these nice features on the machine, this machine is actually built to grow with different parts of the business. What I mean by that is that if you look on either side of the machine, you see some uh, pre-drilled holes. These are meant to adapt any accessory that ZSK makes. And this could be things like sequins, cording, any sort of decorative materials that can be used along with embroidery. 
The other nice thing about this is that all these attachments and all these accessories are not air driven, meaning they're electric. And we don't need any external components besides the actual uh, accessory itself. And um, this machine will grow with your business. And now I'd like to turn it over to Renee. He's gonna show us some really cool features about the T8 controller, which is basically the computer that runs the embroidery equipment. So go ahead, Renee, show us. <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. Yeah, I would like to show you our T8 unit control system here. Basically, you should know that every CSK machine does have the same unit control system. This is quite nice that so once you know one, the other one also is easy to learn. Actually, you know that. Basically, this unit control is based on Windows CE and it does have a high speed processor on board. That makes it also quite fast. Also, we have the ability for the network. Um, so you don't need any other features for that. It does have on the backside as well as three USB ports. These three USB ports are quite nice. Once you can use it for a mouse or you can use it for a barcode scanner and the other one is for a flash drive, for, of course. Um, basically, this system does have also a capacity of 80 million stitches. That means 80 million stitches. The average of a design does have approximately 10 until 15,000 stitches. So, so you can imagine how many designs you can put on this memory. Also, the control panel can read different codes from other systems like we can read in DST codes, DSZ codes, DSB codes, as well as a Melka code, the expanded one, and an old PFAF code too. So, um, what is a very nice feature on that system is you have also an editor here on the system. That means while the machine is running or making stitches, you are able to edit another design. You can increase the design and decrease the design at least until 10%. Also, there's a nice feature inside called a satin stitch pull compensation. So every satin stitch is lettering, for instance, can be just be a little bit wider if you need it, especially on very shrinking materials. You mean stretchy materials, you know what I mean? And another nice feature is here, while the machine is running, of course, you can change the speed. Every needle can have another speed, which is also very awesome because when you use a metal thread, for instance, they are very critical and they need definitely always a lower speed. So you can tell a particular needle, just go this for a certain speed. So Renee, when you're talking about the speed of the machine, what is the speed of this machine? Well, this is a very good question, Andrea. The speed of that machine does have 1200 RPM. And that means you can do actually a production on t-shirts, sweatshirts, whatever you want and run it very, very fast. And so you're telling me that I can run my production at 1200, not at 800 or 850? And what about hats? I mean, can I run that? Do I have to run that at like 600, 700? No, this is also a good question. Well, hats is a little bit difficult. As you can imagine, this is quite a heavy part. Um, but the speed on a hat is even 1000 RPM. This is quite fast. Okay, so my production is going to definitely increase by the speed you're talking about. It's Absolute. not just top speed, but it's actually production speed, correct. right? Correct, correct, okay. absolutely correct. Wow, that is really cool. Awesome. Thanks, Renee. Thank you. Um, well, another thing is, just that you know that, while the machine is doing the stitches, you can also load designs via network, for instance, or from a flash drive, also from a barcode reader, which makes it very, very interesting. Still, you have to do the production, and you can do other things by sight. Very nice. Well, another nice feature on this system is that you can load 14 different languages. Imagine 14 different languages. So wherever your machine is, it doesn't matter where and what kind of operator you have, you have for sure always the right language on your display. Another nice feature is that you can obtain update softwares for the T8 control system well, from our distributor, for instance, and for sure free of charge. So as long as you have a T8 system, you got always free of charge our software. That's for sure. Really? So anytime I need an update on the software, if you improve something, I get that for free and I just contact my distributor for that. Wow, that's great. Um, so, you know, one, th one thing is, is that 
we always see change. Um, what happens when the computer changes? You know, what happens when you have a, a new controller for, for the machine? Um, what happens there? Well, this is also a good question, Andrea. Um, this is really, really also nice. So even you have a very old machine already, let's say if you have a 10 year old machine and we, you want to go to the latest um, technology what we have, you just can plug it in. This is also very nice. So we can, for sure, we can say, if the machine is 10 years and even sometimes older, you just take the latest technology, plug it on and continue with the work. So I don't have to replace the machine? No, not at all. Wow, that's great. Well, Renee, I really appreciate you explaining these features of the controller. Um, I appreciate working with you. This has been a lot of fun. Um, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here in the USA. And we hope you liked our videos and um, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.